Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of Jurassic Park Season 2. Now today we have a highly anticipated video that you guys have been waiting for all this time. As you can see from behind me, we have our little area, which we're going to know as the Trial and Improvement Area, also known as the Research Area, which we'll be working with today. So today guys, we're going to be going through some new mods for today's mod showcase that I've chosen now. Just quickly before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much to Abe Lardo. I'm leaving a link down below to his channel where you guys can go and drop him a subscription. That would be awesome if you could do so. Also guys, all well, the file to these mods will be in the description of the video also. So make sure to go down there, download it yourself, put it into the resource packs, and there you go. You have your very own versions of the animals. Along with in the description a note from the Jurassic Craft um, section which I've chosen which is basically describes the animals that we have here as you can see Gallimimus, Velociraptor, Parasaurolophus, Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Spinosaurus, Ankylosaurus and Triceratops and what uh, dinosaur they've been converted into using the texture packs. So guys without further ado let's get into today's episode and we're going to start off with the Triceratops spawn egg. Now we all, everybody knows here there will be a little, a little bit of lag. Everybody knows that this Triceratops, if you guys have been watching the videos, if you haven't make sure to go back. But the last video we went on and we watched was the Cinoceratops video which as you can see here is the one we've added in. We've added in the Cinoceratops obviously a lovely dinosaur there, very very small horns. It's a quite a nice dinosaur. I love the texture personally. I think it works absolute dreams. It's nice. It's a different type of dinosaur. It adds in a new load of characteristics. It makes the park look so much nicer. And that's why I chose to have the Cinoceratops added in. And let's just kill him. As you can see, these take a little while to kill. So I do apologise for that. But as you can see, we'll move on then to the Gallimimus which I have decided to have converted into, as you can see from here, Ornithomimus. Now, Ornithomimus, guys, if I quickly just grab my dino pad, it will tell you guys which ones are which. This is a female, obviously, the one without the crested face is the female, and the one with is the male. Ornithomimus, now, relatives to the Gallimimus, similar body shape similar sort of fixture they are preferably between grey and blue but you know it looks how it does and it looks quite nice I'm quite happy with it it's quite a nice design in my opinion and therefore I am very happy with it now if we just as you can see here these take a while to kill also all these dinosaurs that we go to kill will take a bit of time so I do apologize for that and they also run around like headless chickens but as you guys can see, those were the Ornithomimus. Now, moving on to the Velociraptors. Now, the Velociraptors, guys, I've had changed into, as you can see here, Utah Raptors. I think it's, I believe, yeah, the female. How is that also, also some 25 days? I don't know. The female is slightly, uh, slightly brighter, more of a orangey brown type of colour, whilst the male Utah Raptor is you know more of a darker brown as you can see both having nice green eyes same sort of texturing I really like them personally they definitely give us something that we're going to be working on soon a hint for the series that's going to come up in about the ne next five to ten videos we will be working on a Utah Raptor exhibit so I think those look, these look really really awesome I really like them they just look so so cool guys like absolutely awesome and this is probably just a good point in the video to say go and subscribe guys if you're new because there's going to be so many more dinosaurs as you can see added in. And who knows, we may work on adding in a few more. Who knows? Let me know if you guys want to see a few more and what you guys think would be changed into them. So what sort of Jurassic Craft dinosaurs do you guys want changing into other dinosaurs? Let me know. And as you can see, these are the Utah Raptors. Very long tails which I do like. I do rather like to see that. As you can see, they're massive claws, similar to the Velociraptor, representing how they are. So, we've had Gallimimus, Velociraptor, and Triceratops. We are now going to move on to the Parasaurolophus. And, guys, the Parasaurolophus, if I quickly just check, the Parasaurolophus is changed into the Bactrosaurus. 
as you can see there isn't really a difference between the male and female they all are pretty much the same they are exactly the same guys there's no difference there but as you can see they look how they do I mean they're a bit different to what I'd expect them to be but I do still rather like them now I think they would have fit slightly better into the um, the design from fossils and archaeology but I still do like this ex uh, these dinosaurs a lot they're not my most favorite of the lot obviously but they're nice they are very nice dinosaurs indeed something a bit different about you know a different herbivore to add in different coloring maybe we can work with that different coloring maybe go for then a desert type biome who knows what we're gonna do guys there's so much to do but those are the Bactrosaurus as you can tell guys just like the rest they take a little while to kill so guys make sure to go and click on the eye of the video um, for which dinosaurs you are preferring to see at the minute which one you guys like the most obviously you haven't seen all of them as of yet but you will do in time don't worry about that but when you guys see them make sure to go and give it a good thumbs up for me guys on the video and cast your vote to see which one is your favorite only one more to go now oh dear Come on then, let's get rid of you. Face your doom. Thank you. Oh dear. Right, let's just jump over here. Now, this area will be gone, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm thinking it's actually giving me a bit of inspiration for the new lab we're going to be building sooner or later. It's kind of something I'm going to work on, like an outdoor project, something along those lines. But guys, that moves us on to the Brachiosaurus, which I've had changed into the Sora Poseidon. As you guys can tell if I just zoom out as you can see there not really any difference between the male and the female very very nice dinosaurs definitely change texture I do like them I prefer the normal Brachiosaurus but I do like them as they are a different species of dinosaur they look cool Sora Poseidon absolutely awesome incredible dinosaurs massive herbivorous or her herbivorous 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 I, don't worry guys but yeah as you can see those are the brachiosaurus converted into a sora poseidon i'm not even hitting him in the slightest this is going to take so long to kill come on almost there we're getting there guys don't worry about it but yeah guys you know what for this video if we can hit smash 15 likes that would be amazing if we get 15 likes guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and then we're going to work on some more mods I'm going to talk to Evelardo see which ones we can kind of transfer over which are the ones we can do and we'll work on that for you you know get a bit of a different perspective in see what we can do and see what we can come up with oh that didn't take long so yeah the idea is guys even with all this meat here we are going to get rid of it don't worry we'll get rid of them all as you can see because I don't want to keep them we'll keep the XP though we'll keep the XP why not guys keep the XP for enchantments but that brings us over to the Tyrannosaurus Rex which I've had converted or changed into the species of Albertosaurus as you can see there and there as you can see guys looking good I do like them a lot I believe yeah, I was going to say, that's a female, and that one is a male. Yeah, so there's absolutely no difference. Wait, yes, yeah, sorry, there is difference within the facial shapes. As you can see, the male has more of the red over the top. Looking like a really nice dinosaur. These are one of my personal favorites. I do like this one an awful lot. Obviously, there you can see the female with the uh, just the green piece of eyebrow, if you want to call it, or type of crest, if you will, which looks really nice. I personally like them a lot very good dinosaurs as you can see here the health is incredible attack is amazing speed not so brilliant but fairly decent you know Tyrannosaurus mean tyrant lizard you know it's it's how it is these will stay as Tyrannosaurus but obviously they are the new Albertosaurus which I think will be absolutely awesome to do I think I'm hopefully look, uh, looking at this rate if we can get the rest done to have these added in at about episode 42, 45, something in between those amounts, which I think will be really cool to do, something a bit different, and obviously makes a lot of difference for the video. Now, these brings us on to our last two, and we're going to go, well, last three, should we say. 
there's a bit of a surprise for you guys. But you know, just before we jump into this, guys, go down, click open a new tab, and tap click on the link to go over to Avalardo's channel, go and hit that subscribe, if we can push him up close enough to whatever tally he desires, that would be absolutely awesome guys, and it would mean a lot. If we can get 15 likes and 10 subscribers over on Avalardo's channel, what we'll do is, we'll work on building some more, mod, uh, more mods, which we can give out to you guys, and we're going to work on that. And here's something else we're talking about, building our own mod building our own mod, forgetting the textures themselves, building and creating our own new mod with completely, you know, rare dinosaurs, loads of different dinosaurs, it's going to be awesome and we're looking to do something like that. Now, moving on to the Ankylosaurus. And the Ankylosaurus has been changed into the Edmontia. As you can see here, as you can see right there, the Edmontia, a beautiful, beautiful dinosaur in my opinion there is the female right then guys sorry about that the world just crashed purely because the amount of animals i'm uh, dinosaurs sorry i'm spawning in but as i was saying the edmontia a lovely little dinosaur they're male and female they are exactly the same looking quite nice well actually sorry so i know there is female and that is a male sorry the male have a slightly lighter shade of coloring but apart from that there really isn't too much different Quite similar to the Ankylosaurus, obviously without the more of the abrupt horns, the more of the widespread. But guys, that is the Ankylosaurus, and it is looking rather good. So, it's sorry, not the Ankylosaurus, the Admontia, which is looking quite good. Now, moving on to the final dinosaur, guys, which will in fact be the transformation of the Spin Spinosaurus into two different two different guys dinosaurs one male one female we're gonna have them in two different enclosures I will probably have to hatch them off camera just to make sure they are in fact male and female but guys we're gonna be working with the Spinosaurus spawn egg so let me just quickly check on what those two dinosaurs are and then we can get it sorted so the Spinosaurus now changes into two types of Dinosaur number one. Please don't crash in my game. There we go. Number one, as you can see here, is a female, which means I believe it is a spin dominus, which means it's an indominus crossed with the Spinosaurus. So, as you can see there, guys, quite different, you know, quite unusual. I personally love it, but you know, it looks very nice. And the second one. As you can see, there is again another female. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are we doing? Let's add in, that's another female. Jesus, why are we adding in so many females? Come on. Please be, that's a male, that's surely a male. Yep, and there we go, guys. There is. Wait, no, sorry. Sorry, guys, I got that wrong. The dino pad, obviously, with the female, means it is the Suchomimus. And right here, the male is a spin dominus rex. In other words, a spin dominus. So, which means it's probably the indominus rex crossed with the spinosaurus. It looks absolutely awesome. Red eyes, silver slash white texture. Looking absolutely awesome, guys. I personally love it. That is my most favorite dinosaur out of all of them. The second being the Utah Raptor and the third being the Albertosaurus. Absolutely love these guys. So, obviously, we've got two in one there. We've got the Suchomimus and the Spindominus with the Edmontia just kind of rolling around there. I think that's a female, I believe. Yes, that is. So, yeah, guys, that is everything for today. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase. If you guys want me to do more, let me know in the comment section. If we hit 15 likes, I'll work on adding a few more into this world. Obviously, guys, make sure to go over and download the link that will be in the description with the list of the animals which and what, uh, with the dinosaurs and what they've been converted into. Go over to Avalado's channel, drop a subscribe. That would mean a lot to him and it means a lot to me. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, all that good stuff. But apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the mod showcase and I hope you enjoy the dinosaurs. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.